Hi, my name is Jeremiah Kahn, and I'm a volunteer with the Rat Long Worm Working Group with the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And we have been asked to provide some more educational videos, especially on food preparation, washing our veggies or produce the best way. So today I'm going to show you those. I have several general produce, leafy greens, heads of cabbages, and we're going to go right ahead and start to process them. The very first thing we want to do is to check. We always want to check our vegetables very well before we actually go to the washing process. We don't want to miss anything. I'm going to peel every stalk of this celery off and I'm going to look for any critters, anything, dirt, anything that might um, be uh, suspect. If I find anything suspect, I will cut it off, trim it off, or discard the piece entirely. So that is what I do for the celery. I will peel every single one down to the nub. For kale example, we have a bunch of kale. These were picked off of the kale plant. I'm going to examine each leaf, feeling, looking, and seeing if there's anything on here. Is it slimy? Is there any bugs, slugs, worms, anything at all? No, nope, that is very good. So I'm going to do that for all of my kale. Red-headed lettuce, yes. These all have a base. So things like to crawl down, gravity, flow down to the base. So I'm going to also, just like the celery, I'm going to peel off each individual leaf of lettuce I'm going to look down inside of them for anything that is possible, and I'm feeling. This is the very most important part, so I'm doing the same for that, and the same for this other type of green, leafy green. Same action, I would peel every single one. Now, we all like cabbage. All right, I like a uh, cooked cabbage. Some people like coleslaw. So how do we clean? For either case, I am going to um, trim off any pieces that I feel I need to trim off. Okay, I'm going to quarter my piece. I'm going to remove the heart. And all at the same time, I'm, I'm looking for any presence of any, any, any critters, anything. Okay, I'm going to peel off all of these hearts here. And then I am going to prepare them as I would for my preparation. In either case, it's shredded. So I'm going to shred how I would normally shred for my part. Okay, so I'm going to shred all of my lettuce, toss them, I'm going to feel them. Running water, running portable water is the best way to cleanse your vegetables. We have a lot of soaks with different chemicals, natural, hydrogen peroxide, essential oils, such things. However, we have found that the action of Running water helps greatly in cleansing because things might not fall off if you do not agitate your produce enough and rub in it. So that is another key. Running potable water. Rinse them off really good. And then I have my colander strainer action. I can shake them really good. Now that we've cleaned the cabbage, we've rinsed it very well, it's ready to be cooked and eaten. These are the lettuces we have checked. We have not seen any, any critters, any slugs or worms, not so ever. I am now going to rinse them off under running water, running tap water, and I'm going to massage the leaves. Um, I don't have to have a lot of water, just smooth, and the water pressure itself really flushes off these greens. 
on top of that, um, we have produce like these. Same thing, we're going to rinse them off and these we can dry because these organisms need wet, uh, the rat lungworm need wet circumstances, so the slugs and snail need to be moist. So we're going to dry these off nice and clean for storage or for cooking. So that also we're going to wash and also our nice celery. This one, I'm going to show you how I do it under the running water. And this is my clean container. So I just pay attention to my containers that are clean. Before I get to this one, you might notice that I have a bag of another lettuce over here. It came this way. I do not know that this water might or might not contain any contagion. I don't know. So I'm going to treat it carefully and I will remove the lettuce and wash that off and do the same check preparation and then keep this liquid away from anything that I'm doing. So I'm going to keep these separate, okay? And then do the same cleaning that I just showed you. Here we're going to rinse off and rub these leaves. And just feel them. I'm feeling for anything, anything slimy, anything gritty. And open them up and then I'm going to give them a real good shake off and then that's going to go into the clean collection container and the same thing I'm going to do with these other vegetables that I already checked oh yeah so not to forget our tomatoes and capsicums, bell peppers, and I'm going to dry them off really well. And now that these are cleaned, set, put them in a separate location from the unprocessed produce. So the best thing to do when you come home from the market and get your fresh greens or from your garden or your neighbor's garden, that you prepare your foods before they even go in the fridge. So you're ensured safely clean and washed foods. As always, when you cook your foods, your vegetables, you are going to um, take care of any parasites if there were any there. So that's as the final thing is we, we cook. Otherwise, you um, have preparations of salting, brining, dehydrating, or freezing. Some of you all like the green veggies and the smoothies, which are quite delicious. If there were any um, uh, animals on there, they would be frozen. The, uh, any parasites would be inactive and no longer a problem. So that is another form of um, cleansing uh, your vegetables and making them safe. So um, thank you. Thank you for uh, staying with me and uh, joining me. And we're talking about the slugs and snails that transport the rat lung worm parasite and that's how they come to infest and transmit any parasites to us is by eating vegetables that we have not looked at carefully so i want to thank you for joining me here and um, have a beautiful day and clean green and living produce thank you